Hello and welcome back to the channel for another college tier review. Today we have a really exciting release that I have, I couldn't have imagined they actually released this. It's it's awesome. This is a core class Optimus Prime with trailer and Bumblebee. This is absolutely epic. Can't wait to actually crack it out of the packaging. We'll be unboxing it in this video, so let's get into it. I got mine over from Hasbro Pulse. It is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive item. So you can see the box art here. Nice image of Prime there on the front with B. And you can see the trailer. I always, Optimus without his trailer, I mean, what's the point? He's a, he's a tractor trailer, he needs a trailer. We can see here all the extra features he gets. It looks like he gets his axe and his gun, finally an Optimus release with both. And it looks like he's got some extra paint apps in there. Um, but there's some, some paint apps missing from the trailer. It'll be interesting to do the comparison here because we haven't actually really seen the final version of this. Um, got Bumblebee, got Roller, and the arm inside. Looks like we got all the accessories that G1 Prime would have. Interesting image there on the back. I'd imagine this might combine with something else um, to complete that image. So I wonder what the next release will be. Maybe it'll be like a Seekers 3 pack or something. Who knows? Maybe they'll finally give Skywarp his gun. Wouldn't that be much appreciated? His null rays, pardon me. Alrighty, that cracked open here. So I'd imagine this is going to be uh, all the recyclable cardboard material inside for their plastic-free packaging. All right, let's take a look what we got here. Oh, looking sweet. You can already see that Prime has the white color on his thigh as opposed to a gray plastic. B's looking great, and the trailer looks phenomenal. Awesome. Got our instructions here. I believe, yep, it's combined for both Optimus and B. So there's complete instructions for both of them, including Prime's trailer, how to stow his trailer, looks like how to attach him to his trailer, all the different things you can do with the trailer. You can have like different kind of weapon modes on the trailer with that arm thing. You can have a, have a shield, all sorts of stuff. Let's check them out. Now, I actually have not gotten this Bumblebee mold before since that Buzzworthy Bumblebee exclusive with Spike and this mold came out kind of before Core Class was really established as its own line. So I never actually picked up that Bumblebee, so I will be transforming him for the first time, so bear with me if I'm doing something wrong. There goes the trailer. Probably should do this upside down. I will say these paper cords are much easier to cut in a lot of cases than the fur bands and whatnot they've used in the past. Got B out, Prime. And all the accessories. Let's get that to the side. And let's start by taking a look at Prime here. Man, so they come packaged in vehicle mode. Look, look at the, you got painted silver rims. I have some comparisons for robot mode with um, other core class prime releases, but we'll get into all the nuances of the paint detail once we get into robot mode, because then they're all visible. Um, nice grill paint here on the front. Nice blue. All the paint colors on this guy are a little bit different than that of previous core class releases. He's a little bit shinier, no silver on the thighs. Big toes. Looking good, looking good. I like the white. I think it actually blends the truck mode really nicely. Glide rolls pretty well. That's a tiny little dude. Looks like all wheels are rolling. I know on my Nemesis Prime, I actually had to do um, a little bit of trimming of one of the wheels to get it to roll, but that rolls beautifully. And B. Look at that, this looks fantastic. I mean, he's such a nice size. Carry him in your palm. Silver there on the front, nice matching blue there to be cartoon accurate, really like that. No paint on the wheels, but I think they do the trick. The front one's actually pinned on, which is nice. And there's the back, looking very, very nice. Yeah, he rolls, he rolls, fantastic. Of course, these two a uh, bit out of scale with each other, but it's core class and it was G1, so scale's kind of out the window in terms of at least vehicle modes. And here's the trailer. So we do get, oh, nice jack stands on the bottom there, like 
a proper trailer, not like the crazy ones that came with the G1. I mean, I love G1, but of course this is a little better. Angle the camera down here a little bit. So you can get a look at all these guys. There we go. It's a key camera. Nice Autobot emblem there on the side. Nice gray on the trailer. No blue stripe, but I think that's okay. Then it looks like we do get a ramp in back. Yeah, look at that. Ramp, you can see there is stuff inside to be seen. Open all that up. This is just cardboard protector. But here is the trailer all opened up. Let's get standing. Nice. Pull out. Oops. Pull out the rover thing, arm thing, whatever, whatever it's actually called. Don't know. So it does. All right. So that's its maximum travel. It goes to there. It doesn't actually go all the way up. But you can hinge this all the way up. I'll adjust the camera a minute here. Actually, if you go back up, tiny core class is getting somewhat big. Not really, but there we go. Extend the claw here. Flip it underneath. Raise up the antenna. And this is pretty well articulated. So just real quick articulation on this. You do have a ball joint here at the top and then a hinge joint down here. Nothing out of the claw. You do have just a hinge for the radar dish. Then you do have a hinge at the base here, swivel. And this thing does just pop off entirely. So there's a little peg on the back. Looks like a five millimeter peg. So maybe your bigger figures could use it or your pegs on somewhere else. Not sure, we'll get into that later. And then you do have this bottom articulation. So it goes all the way down. And then you have this one as well. So it goes all the way there and then folds all the way back up. So that is, that is fun. That is very fun. Very, very fun. Now let's get out these accessories. As we do need a, at least one of them. I'm pretty confident for integrating the trailer onto Prime. That's like that shield thing is how it actually attaches. The mold itself didn't ever have a prominent trailer hitch component. Alrighty, so in this bag here, we get roller. Love roller. Looks really good. And I think you can peg, let's see. I think you can take this thing off and peg it onto roller here. Let's see. Can it be done? I believe it can be done. It is done. That is awesome. That is awesome. And then let's see if, I'm not sure if Roller can tow the trailer. Next question. We'll get into that in a minute, but this is Prime's shield slash tow hitch. You can see there's the fifth wheel back there. So I'll integrate that in a minute. And then we get all the weapons. Prime's gun molded in a blue plastic, but painted in a very nice gunmetal metallic color. Very nice sheen to it. Very nice. Bumblebee's gun looks like a nice Shiny gunmetal-ish plastic. Prime's Axe. What we've been waiting for. Finally, a core class release of Optimus Prime that actually comes with both the axe and the gun, as we've got them each separately, both with Nemesis Prime and with the original core class Optimus Prime release. But core class Optimus Prime just came with the blaster, and Nemesis came with the axe. But it was a blue axe, not the standard yellow axe that we see Optimus wield in the original cartoon. Looks like another gun here for Bumblebee. You can take your pick. And yeah, so going over roller, let's get all this out of the way. He is actually pretty solid. He's filled in on the bottom. He rolls beautifully, beautifully as roller should roll. And now let's see how we get all this integrated into Prime. So let's just fold all of this up. Get it all stowed away. This folds up nicely like so. There actually is a little tab slot connection here for that arm so that it actually will lock into place so that you know that, that the trailer will close up. Closes up beautifully. Now let's take Prime and I believe these slot over his toes. Should be a pretty simple integration here. And then yeah, so it looks like then this little three millimeter part actually tabs into the molded trailer hitch on Prime there. So there you have Prime ready to tow. And actually that looks kind of cool. Gotta say, I wasn't a big fan of this kind of parts forming, but it, it actually kind of works. It really does make the truck mode look pretty cool. Though maybe molded in a blue plastic. I'm not really sure about the gray, but then you do get a port here on the trailer. It pegs right in. And here we have Prime with his trailer. This is so epic, so epic. Oh my God. 
that. I'm going nuts if you can't tell. Now the trailer, it looks like you're, you're limited in range to turning range just due to the feet. So you can turn about that far. So you're not gonna jackknife this prime. Or I guess this jackknife is just not that sharp. So you can do that. And then if you wanted to, of course, you could use this trailer hitch piece um, with any of your primes. You could use it with standard original core class prime release if you want more of that, that gray paint scheme. And honestly, if you want the wheels to match, because they are not quite, actually, they don't quite match. These are molded in like a more um, flat, they're like a flat plastic, and this is a shiny plastic. So it's kind of interesting because these are also molded in that shiny plastic. It's just the trailer that uses the flat plastic. Oh, and rollers wheels, I guess, because I kind of use it. But you could, of course, give this, this guy um, the trailer if you wanted, or you want Nemesis to have a trailer. I mean, your logo's wrong, but you could probably find some decals for that. It would be pretty awesome if we got a Nemesis with a trailer. Now that would be, that would be pretty fun. So that was Prime with the trailer. Now let's see, Roller, does he just hook to the trailer? Yep. Look at that, Roller can roll out with the trailer. That is epic. So, so very epic. Now for the next test, Let's get Primus trailers back, trail hitch back on. So I'm just nerding out here. Hope you're enjoying it. I, this, this might be my favorite release of the year, quite honestly. Big fan of Tiny Transformers. Like Tiny Transformers and I cannot lie. That was really bad, my apologies. But, over me. Roll in. And he does, in fact, roll in. He pulls up the trailer. Now you can't fit Roller in there, obviously, but you can have Bumblebee inside of the trailer. Now let's see if we can store weapons and stuff in here. So we, of course, can fit Roller, wherever. Prime's X. I'm sure there's instructions for this, but I'm not gonna use them. So it looks like the gun can slot in right there. And then the X looks like we slot in down here. You can see there's like three cutouts there. So let's, yep, and then the peak lines up like so. Tabs in very securely. Actually, you could probably still fit B in there even with that stuff tabbed in. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll close. Yeah, you can fit B in there even with the weapons stirred. And you could, I think, also fit B's guns in here. These are for stick like blaster here. Not capsize my review station. Yeah, you can stick some blasters in here and all that. That's pretty neat. Now, like, interesting. So you can just stick both of these blasters in there. Now, I'm not going to do all that now because we will be needing those, all of these accessories for robot mode. Then, just some other, I think, kind of fun gimmicks you can do with this. So you can pull the rover thing outside. The trailer and just hinge it up and you can have this look going on if you want that look prime's attack mode that was kind of something advertised the original toy it could pop out through the top of the trailer so there is that option too which is definitely fun feature to include harkens back to the original g1 toy Anything I'm missing? Let's take a look at the instructions. Aha! There is. So, this is a neat feature. You can just pull this off. It's supposed to come off of this bit, not this bit. This bit's supposed to stay on. Keep that on the trailer, but fold the trailer back up, and you get two tabs here, which slot into two slots on the top of the trailer. That's what these slots are for. And you can have this look going on too, if you want that. So it's kind of neat. And I guess you could probably take this whole thing. Yep, this whole thing pegs onto a roller. Instead of just that top piece, you could take the whole thing and have crazy roller apparatus going on. And now you actually get the full articulation too out of this thing. So. Lots of different things you can do. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. So let's get all that rolled out of the way. The trailer stand out. These guys in the back. And let's get transforming. So with Prime, of course, you want to start by removing the hitch. 
really nice detail on this actually. Kind of like, I wish there was some paint on the taillights or something maybe, but it looks really nice. I like the rivets and the tread pattern. Very cool. Then we want to start by unpegging the arms like so, and then I'll just pull them back a little bit away from the truck, sling them out, get them straight, now get them straight, and you do want them up as you'll be turning the torso, as is so common with many prime transformations. Then you just want to dislodge this front piece. Again, I've already reviewed two molds of this guy, so if you want a little bit more in depth on the transformation, certainly check those out, but I am doing it here for you as well. This part on mine is actually very stiff. Let's see if we can bend that to the correct angle. Something like that. It's a little bit stiff though. Then you just want to rotate at the top and bring the whole waist down. And we there are supposed to, these two tabs are supposed to go in to two slots on the grill. It's just, it's fighting me a little bit. Looks like about as good as it's gonna get. There we go. Hmm. Let's see here. It's interesting how tight these are. Not had this issue on a prime, on a core class before. Being overly tight. Can't quite tell what's up there. Come on, stop fighting me. Well, anyways, it's probably gonna be about as good as I get it for now. Figure out what's going on there later, but not a big deal. And then I just wanna rotate all these out. So, flip out the head, which this is often the hardest part. Just gotta use your nail, pull it out, and split the legs. And here you have Core Class Optimus Primal Transformed, and I love those paint apps, especially when it comes to the belt region here. So I just go ahead and bring in the previous Core Class Optimus, and you can see the major difference in the paint color. This guy is much more vibrant in all of his colors, even the silver. He's very G1 accurate color scheme. Very nice. These guys clean up beautifully for how tiny they are. They stack up real nice. Real nice. So then for accessories with this guy, you can use this as a shield, if you so desire. Kind of like a riot shield. Just tab it into the side or something. To bend this. And have him using that as a shield. So all I did there was, for the axe integration, you just flip the hand back inside, and then just tap that in, three millimeter port. So have his shield and then you can of course give him his blaster prime with a shield and blaster have that going on or alternatively instead of a shield you can just give him his axe Megatron must be stopped there you go pretty neat look this guy is definitely superior to the original mold. I mean, I love this guy. I mean, the mold, the mold itself is amazing. I mean, original paint, paint applications are much better on this guy. And then of course he comes with an ax. So very cool. Also just for a comparison with Nemesis Prime. Keep your head on. Okay, Nemesis Prime. Let's see how they stack up and you can see the difference in the ax color there. Nice, vibrant gold for the new Prime. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's go ahead and set up his trailer here and get him standing in his repair bay. Open up this rover thingy. Yes, for fun. There we go. Now that open up and prime standing back there. Is there a way to store this when he's not using it? I guess you could just hook it onto the no, it doesn't really, it's not really stable there. You hook it inside somewhere. I guess you just rest it somewhere. Maybe, oh, here we go. 
Aha, tabs in right there. So there are, you know, instructions. Should probably show you this, but there are two tabs there, two slots here, and that's what they're for. Store that in robot mode. Let's get Prime back in here, stand them up. Trailer with roller, there we go. Now time for Bumblebee. So, let's see here. Just wiggle this out, like that. And then come to the back region here. Flip those up, I'm guessing. Again, this is my first time touching this mold, so who knows if I'm doing it right. I don't. Ooh, sorry. Aha, okay, just lodge door wings there, or just rear wing pieces. Flip these out to the sides, like so. And then we do gotta get his noggin out here. Go ahead and split the legs, flip the toes down. Nice little transformation from this guy. Flip this up, snap that in, and then fold this panel inside. Does it not go any more inside? Okay, there we go. Folds underneath like that. Wow, yeah, he cleans up nice. Very nice little bee. There we go. And I, I'm not going over articulation with Prime because, again, I've already reviewed him. Very good articulation, fantastic for such a fi small figure. I think this guy definitely competes pretty well. Look at that sculpt. Very nice face sculpt there. His head does rotate. Fantastic. Looks up and down too. Autobot logo, nice blue, lots of yellow, nice gray. All the paint matching on this guy is also very well done. Nice backpack. I mean, this is this is kind of a cool combo of having door wings, but almost exactly perfect to the G1 profile. The only thing, you know, you didn't have door wings, but very close to that. And again, and the hood's a little different, of course, but looks really, really nice. So articulation-wise, you can look down, actually, look up a little bit. Side to side, full 360, and then ball joints at the arm, so you go up to that high, all the way around. 90 degree bend there, it's also a ball joint there. Nothing at the wrist, uh, nothing at the waist. Can kick forward very far, back very far, thigh swivel. Maybe, no, no thigh swivel. Very, very tight. Uh, works on this one. Looks like this one isn't actually pressed all the way in. Aha! Now we have thigh swivel. So yes, to thigh swivel. Very good knee bend, toe bend. You can do like crazy, crazy bend there because of how it all compacts for vehicle mode. And uh, no kind of ankle rack because he is a core class. These guys are tiny and they are amazing. Tiny, but mighty. For accessories, he's got this blaster, three millimeter port. I guess you could give one to Prime if you wanted him to use a tiny blaster. Comes with this blaster and with this blaster. Two blasters for little Bumblebee. So there you go. Very, very neat. Let's bring in Prime here to see the combo. Bumblebee is definitely kind of way oversized, but they look awesome together. And these guys are look like so much fun. Keep on your desk, you know, roll them around. Just relive fantastic moments from the original cartoon and movie and make your own. So this is a fantastic set. Highly recommend it. Definitely worth it. 40 bucks is definitely a little high for, you know, something this small, but it's totally worth it. Just for comparisons again, here are the Nemesis Prime and the original Kingdom Prime on the side. So there you go. That is my review for the new core class pack of Optimus and Bumblebee in their G1 colors with a trailer. That's so awesome. Hope you like the review and stay tuned for more. You can just see all of it together. Um, many more Transformers reviews to follow, of course. Please remember to like and subscribe. Keeps these reviews coming and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.